Hi, this is Stacia, and I'm going to do a CPDS Two Minute Tuesday today. And my topic is um, show fees. I have multiple questions over the year about what things cost and why. So I have shared my screen so that you can see the prize list for the CPDS recognized shows, the USDF shows. And the first page is just general information about opening and closing dates and judges and so on. And the second page has information about fees. And let's start with the at the top. Let's look at the class fees. Class fees are um, intended to cover the cost of personnel. So the judge, the steward, the technical delegate, technical delegate, uh, EMT, and so on. Um, those fees plus their travel, hotel, airfare, that kind of thing. Generally, we try to cover those out of class revenue. Um, if you continue on down and look at the stalling fees, those are intended to cover the cost of the facility. A uh, stall fee of $85, that is going to help cover, offset the cost of the uh, facility. I do get questions about the grounds fee, which is $40. And this is a fee that pay, it, people pay if they are not getting a stall. And, and sometimes I'll have the question, well, what am I paying for? What am I getting for my $40? Well, you're using the facility. You're using the warm-up ring, maybe the lunging area. You're using the show ring. Um, the wash rack, and so on. So you do get benefit from that. And if we didn't charge people who did a jump out, if we didn't charge them a fee for tying to the trailer, then the burden of covering the facility fee falls on um, the people that in fact get a stall. So it just helps offset that cost a little bit. The administrative fee, that is um, the office fee, and that is generally covering your show management, secretary, manager, and then any extra folks that um, have been hired, like maybe somebody to help with scribing now that we have the electronic scribing, the live stream, and so on. Uh, the pass-through fees, those are the qualifying fees, Great American, USDF, um, and the SWD's fee qualifying fees. And those, those are passed through. That 100% of that goes right to the sponsoring organization to help them fund their year-end um, championship shows. The drug fee, so I'm down, skipping down to D, is the association fees. Um, that is things related, the drug fee, everybody pays that. And that is generally to cover the cost of uh, USEF's program to ensure uh, fair competition. So periodically they'll send a drug tester to a show and that's how that paid. So if your horse is ever drug tested, you don't pay anything to have the horse, the sample analyzed that is covered through this fee that is collected at every show. So that's how the fees work. The fees are generally much higher at a recognized show because we have other um, association related fees that have to be covered. Um, and the, the judges are they fly in, so the, the expenses are just higher. The average recognized show will have about a $9,000 budget, so we have to generate that much revenue through office fees, um, class fees, and uh, stall fees. So that's how it works. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks for watching. Oh.